This is a uh, 40 meter two tube regenerative receiver. It covers from 7 megahertz to 7.2 megahertz. A regenerative receiver that's primarily uh, suited to CW or a code reception is called an Autodyne. And this is an Autodyne design from the late 40s, early 50s. It uses a 6SK7 pentode in a Hartley oscillator as the regenerative detector and a simple 6J5 triode as an audio amplifier driving the headphones. I have a tap off the, uh, the audio transformer that I'm putting into a ordinary computer speaker so that we can hear things. The sound in the headphones is similar to what we're hearing in the computer speaker so there's really not any real gain to using the speaker. The headphones uh, provide plenty of volume at uh, half volume scale. Getting a regen to operate on 40 meters is a little bit tricky. Um, 40 meter uh, construction, uh, you've got to be a lot more careful with rigidity, uh, stability. You need a good vernier dial. Um, there are some issues with this receiver that I'm not happy with. One of them is the vernier dial is a little bit sticky, and the other is it seems to have low frequency response, uh, more low frequency response than I'd like, so I'll get in there and adjust that. So if we tune a little bit, this is working fairly well on CW stations. No problem picking up stations. This is about 7025 on my dial. Nothing happening at the bottom of the band. Okay. If we come up into the section of the band where we start to get some side band. A little bit of single side oh. band activity. It never happened before, did it? You've had that coming that in those boxes for quite a few years, haven't you? Now, once we have the YL and the OT tuned in, their voices sound pretty natural. I remember we used to have the mailbox on at the gate. Well, if you go today, you shouldn't find it, anything in there wet. As you can see, the regenerative receiver has excellent <coughs> single didn't side have band any performance. Rain last night. It is affected by overload quite easily. And it uh, anyway, that show that the darn thing hurt very well. You can tell there's no automatic gain control no. when her signal sure comes didn't in. Sound it much stronger than his. There's no adjustment other than riding the volume control. Maybe a lot got wet just while they had the section open filling up the boxes. Now, by increasing the regeneration control, the sensitivity of the set will go down. But its ability to handle strong signals goes up as you increase regeneration. Another thing I want to show you is if we go below the point of regeneration, we're into the point now where you'd pick up AM stations. We're not hearing too much. As we approach regeneration, we're now in Autodyne. By increasing the regen. a little bit easier to tune stations with more regeneration. Now that was a mobile station. We're picking up a mobile station on the regen. Regen's very sensitive. 
Now if we want to get more sensitivity on the regen, we can increase our coupling to the antenna. Okay. You know, it's very sensitive right now. You can hear the noises come back in, in, the, in the output. We've got heavier coupling and we've got critical regeneration. If we go too far, we're going to have to really increase the regeneration. We actually have too much gain for some of the stations now. actually capturing the carrier of the on frequency. We have too much coupling, so it's capturing that carrier. This is digital. Decrease the coupling. Regen can easily handle digital communications as well as RTTY teletype. Uh, some French Canadian hams around 7075. Okay, I'm sorry. Someone is uh, keying up in there with uh, with some um, CW. And uh, we have a Now that sounds like a software-defined radio. AB2VW, do you copy? K1EIR. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A busy frequency. We've got CW, we've got a bunch of stations fighting on frequency as usual. you got the old timers and the new software defined radio guys on the same channel. This is K1 Echo into your radio. Does anyone copy? We need to have that exorcism, Stan. We've got to have that exorcism. Uh, let me know when you're ready to, uh, to, to let your soul, uh, your evil soul, be removed from your body, and uh, maybe you'll be a different person after that. We have to, we have to have that exorcism, man. You got, the, you got an evil demon living in you. You don't even know it. <laughs> A lot of fun on